Okay everyone and welcome back to Living La Dolce Vita, the front room refurb. Um, now is it part 6 or is it part 7? I can't re really remember. Anyway, I'll, when I check back I'll uh, put in the title. Anyway, so uh, I've actually done it a few days ago but uh, the, the floor is now down. The only thing I need to do, because uh, I ran out of screws, is to um, put extra screws in, in the boards because obviously I only put them in the corners and in the uh, you know on the edge edges to begin with so I just got to uh, put more screws in the floor and that and that's the floor done uh, what I've just done is made a basic frame here to fit in this uh, hole in where the chimney uh, where the fire was it's not the wood is fixed to each other with screws and glue, but uh, it's not fixed in the hole at the moment. Because what I need to do, I need to make sure that the uh, what can I point with? Anyway, excuse me. So um, this gap here between the front edge and that has got to be enough to take. Um, I'm going to put a couple of pieces of the leftover flooring, triple flooring. So I might as well use it up. So I'm going to fill that up and then a piece of um, plasterboard on top of that. So that's 22 mil plus 9.5, I think the plasterboard is. So that is 29, uh, 29, 22, 31, 31.5, something like that. So I'll have to make sure that's um, accurate because, uh, yeah, because obviously then I've got to cover that over then to match all the rest of the chimney breast in. So once that's in, uh, fixed. Then, um, but I'm not actually going to. Uh, I'm going to fix the, this framework again. Sorry, I'm going beyond my uh, beyond the point yet. Um, once this frame is fixed, I'm going to leave it like that for the time being, open, uh, because next door I'm having their roof done, and at the same time, we're having the chimney stack taken down. So there's a good chance that there'll be uh, bits of debris and soot and all sorts of rubbish coming down. So uh, I want to be able to clean that out once they're finished, of course. I want to be able to clean that out before I put the final face on. Uh, in the meantime, now I've been having a problem accessing uh, carpenters, etc., to build some... Uh, cupboards into the alcove and s stuff. So I've um, been doing a little bit of research on YouTube, as you do, and I'm going to give it a go myself because um, you know p these carpenters are not available till beyond Christmas apparently, and I can't wait till that long. T you know, because obviously I need to put flooring down. I can't put flooring down in, uh, until I put the cupboards in first. So I'm going to give it a go myself, see how that works out. <laughs> Never done it myself before, but uh, I'm sure if I take my time, it'll get done. So it'll be one in there, cupboard, uh, and then shelving up there. Now I'm going to get these fr uh, floating shelves. Now there are different ways of doing these floating shelves. You can, uh, some of them on YouTube lot uh, put buttons in, and then you have a, a piece piece that goes on top and then a piece that goes underneath so it all gets hidden or you can get these floating shelves which are uh, it's like a, a metal bracket you screw to the wall with with stubs sticking out and you just slot them on straight on uh, they don't take that much weight only 10 kilograms but uh, you know it's probably more than enough for what I need I'm not going to be putting much up there um, and this doing a similar thing over on that side as well Right, so that's the update. Bit of a mess in here again because I clear it away and then I create more mess. <laughs> right, so um, I expect the next sort of films will set of films will be me sorting out these cupboards and things. Right, anyway, I'll do for now and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>